much for taking time out of your schedule to join us. And we mentioned it's the 50th anniversary uh, of the um, Keeping Britain Tidy, and that it was an initiative of the Women's Institute. So they took a break from their jam making and bread baking, uh, but we look forward very much to hear what I think uh, <laughs> tomorrow when a former and uh, certain Prime Minister addressed you all. That I think was your. your, your I think, I think we'll always remember that moment, uh, and, uh, and many others uh, as well. And can I say, I wasn't knocking the Women's Institute. They attend all my father's meetings and come forward with great ideas. So um, we look forward to hearing from the DEFRA uh, about the initiatives in this regard. Thanks very much, Carmen. So, um, Anne, I must tell you that when you mentioned Little Angels, I, I looked at Kirsty Allsop and she looked at me. I'm not quite sure what you were talking about. So um, that was very kind. Thank you. And above all, I wanted to thank your all-party parliamentary group, both you and Jim, uh, for actually making this possible. I've been really looking forward to this day, because I have a thing about litter. I do feel really, really strongly about it. I live just on the sort of edge of the countryside, on the edge of the West Midlands conurbation. And um, I try to get myself fit for the charity fun runs. So I turn out to my drive and I run along the country lanes and it just, you know, dismays me to see almost at 10 yard intervals, you know, dropped um, Coke cans, Sprite bottle, um, fish and chip wrapper, I mean, almost could list them off to you. And, you know, by the time I get home, I have to go out again, all over again, on foot, slowly walking to pick them up. And I think it's really only when you walk or run or, you know, that you actually see this close to, because when you just drive by, you don't see it. And I just feel it, it just, just damages, you know, the countryside for everyone who would like to go out there and enjoy it. So I have really been looking forward um, to this campaign, Love Where You Live, because that's the essence of it, isn't it? You know, because you love the place you live, you want it to look its best, and you want everybody to be able to enjoy it in the best state that it's in. So we have to do what we can to make it easier for people. That's been very much a theme of the waste review, to make it easier for people to do the right thing. And I'm just thinking so often, partly because I raised three children, I don't know about other mums in the audience, but you know, when you're teaching your children about to do the right thing with litter, it so much involves actually picking up the litter and saying, no, we're not going to drop it, I'm putting it in your pocket. I've got coatfuls of pockets of my children's <laughs> rubbish. And now they're old enough to know that they can do that for themselves. But it really does start. It starts with trying to find ways that we can make it easier for them to do the right thing. And I think this is also quite urgent. I do feel really strongly about this, and Phil has heard me talk about this. You know, what do we want people to remember about the Olympics when they come here next year? We don't want them to remember that the country is a litter bug country, do we? We want to clean up before the Olympics next year. So I think the launch of this campaign, Love Where You Live, couldn't come at a better time, because really we have 12 months to do something about it together. And it's something I think that we really can do together uh, and do everything we can to make sure that um, people are, are, are seeing the best of our country at all times. So I really want to um, thank uh, McDonald's who so sponsored this event. Um, I think that's, that's a very important contribution from uh, an organization which in itself can make a difference with embracing this campaign and all the consumers of your products that hopefully will embrace the campaign as a consequence. And I really want to congratulate Keep Britain Tidy because they've kept going, trying to keep this country tidy, get it tidy and keep it tidy. And I think this Love Where You Live campaign is going to be a really good opportunity, Phil, for you and your team um, to harness the likes of all of us who feel so passionately about litter. And I, so I really want to wish you a very successful campaign and at DEFRA to do everything we can to support you with the campaign. But I can't possibly finish without congratulating Gordon Henderson, because I, having just heard you speak, Gordon, you share 100% my passion to do something about this. But the point is, you've got on and done it. So could I finish by saying a hearty thank you to you. Thank you.